I'm Mara, I'm the founder of Roblo Engineers and we are developing a product, a robot that is fully autonomous and sustainable and will clean beaches, but not only. In our country, at least, we have a real big problem when we go to the beach and see that we don't actually have space to step on anything because we might just get a plastic or a bottle. So we figured that we have to do something about it. So we wanted to start developing our product in order for us to be able to help beaches get cleaner and also the marine ecosystem. We started uh, building a robot, let's say, a prototype. We started using the cheapest way possible in order for us to see that that works. And we also competed next in a business competition to, let's say, understand if our idea is a good one, to get feedback to see if it actually matters. At the beginning, when I just started university, I had like a really big change in my mind, at least. I saw failure as something that you can't grow out of, something that just makes you not want to do anything related to that matter. Like, for example, if I failed an exam, I just felt like I couldn't do it or like I wasn't good enough to do that. So when at the beginning of our startup we had a lot of hate comments and a lot of people saying that we can't do it, I took a step back, thought about it and realized that it's not about us. The problem is from the people that don't understand it or it was just not the right time. At the exam example, it was not that I couldn't do it, it was that I wasn't prepared enough. So it's more about the way you learn to grow from that problem or that failure. As a founder, I learned that it's important to be open and receive all the feedback as possible. And we had mentors from different domains, from HR to PR to engineering in general and science, chemistry. And everybody gave us, um, and me especially, a different view of what we do and a different view of what's important. So it helped me grow a lot and understand the problem itself. And it helped me grow a lot as a person. Uh, to understand what I have to do in order for us as a team to succeed. I think uh, the greatest piece of advice that someone gave me was that we have to focus on our goal, but there's no need for us to step on it or to not move forward if we don't feel like we can succeed anymore. If we stop or if, you feel, if we feel like we can't do it anymore, it's important to take a breather, take a break, chill out for a second and then move on because we can do it. We really need to stay connected with the people that will actually be our future clients. We need to know people from that genre in order for us to be able to develop our product to be the best one that it can be, at the start at least. Now that's what we need to do, we need to start networking based on that. I think I need to stay connected with my future and all future goals as a startup. I'm trying to connect with a lot of people, I'm trying to communicate with a lot of people. That's my main goal at the moment and I'm also trying more to work on my public speaking at the moment. Don't be afraid of what people are going to say about your idea. It's a great idea. Um, don't think that it's not just because someone says that. It may not be the best idea for the start, but that doesn't mean you don't have to try and work on it. See if you can grow it, see if you can get something out of it. If not, move on to the next idea. You don't have to stomp on some random idea that may not be the best in the moment. It's a great idea anyway.